Hello, my name is William James, and welcome back to this episode of the Bald Book Geek. This episode is the first to be recorded from my uh, new computer. So, hi from Mac Mini M1. How are all of you? All of my links are in the doobly doo. So, total disclosure: I received this book in exchange for an honest review from the publisher. And I'm going to give it. Like always, I'm very honest, and I do get in trouble for being honest sometimes. But I have a soft spot for thrillers, and thank you for reaching out to me. By the way, I'm absolutely blown away by this. Thank you. So this is a thriller. It's uh, Simon Conway, the saboteur, and I've read several of his other books without realizing, um, which surprised me because I I didn't realize that I'd read them. I know that sounds weird, but it's like, these names look familiar. Oh, yeah. So I took this without realising. It's a standalone sequel to his previous book, The Stranger. But although it follows the same uh, similar, some main characters, none of the plot elements, you can read this completely independently of The Stranger. So what I find really interesting is that this thriller is an action thriller that takes you into this look, a much deeper look at the uh, war in Syria and the refugee crisis. And he honestly, like one of the Times stated, Simon deserves to be one of the biggest names in Spy Ferment, and he really does. He's a great writer. He's a writer that has the ability to pull you in. And he's very good with the pacing, because I like good pacing. And thrillers live and die by their fr- uh, pacing. This is one of them. And this lives beautifully by its pacing. It pulls you in, it speeds you up. And unlike some thrillers that tend to come out, this isn't a mindless book. This book is intelligent. It's clever. Um, great. You know, let's take on the terrorists. And there's lots of surprises and bumps along the way and the great internal monologues <laughs> that go on throughout this book it's interesting because it follows a hero uh, the hero air quotes uh, Jude of MI6 and he is saved from a Syrian ambush by his lover and maybe enemy and then a Russian um, a mysterious Russian has been murdered in London and his thumb cut off and then he gets pulled into this plot and it's all interlinked the basically um, a to bring down the UK, and that's what this is about, and it's whatever, I can't give too much away because of the nature of this story, but someone in the Russian government, and worse still, a psychopathic genius, otherwise known as a stranger, is involved. This is one of those books that will keep you... This is a modern spy thriller. And the Russian doomsday plan is fantastic because, I mean, it really does pull that punch and it leaves you with your mouth open going, what the hell? Because you... Like, this doomsday plan will disable and destroy the UK. And this is... I mean, it's great political intrigue. It's great interplay with these characters. I love... I love the political thrillers that come in, and I do love the fact that when you're reading this, you cannot stop. I read it in three days. Literally. I read it in three days, and I would have read it in two if I had more time. (laughs) It's definitely one of those. You wind up with this this intense, action-packed, intelligent well-written thriller that just keep you on your toes and you find out that you know not everyone is as it seems not every character is as black and white as they seem to start with and watching this sort of very modern hero deal with everything that's going on and sort of it's a very interesting look at the Syrian war as well because it's obviously researched very well researched and Simon Conway himself aid worker who has um cleared landmines and unexpected bombs in the aftermath of the war in, in wars in Africa, Asia, and the Middle East. And it, it, he's just so good at this. I was absolutely surprised. I, I literally couldn't put it down. And I'm going to revisit his other work now because it just, it was staring at me and I needed to do it. I definitely needed to do it. Um... What I will say is that if you enjoy crime thrillers, the links to buy this book are in the description. So if you guys are interested and um, 
if you are also interested, all the information is down there too. What I will say is, go in with uh, expecting something fun, big and splashy. Enjoy this book and...